Hi and welcome to the session. I am Asha and I am going to help you solve the following problem which says factorize each of the following. So let us first learn some simple identities. First is u cube plus v cube plus 3u square v plus 3uv square is equal to u plus v whole cube. And the second one is u cube minus v cube minus 3u square v plus 3u v square is equal to u minus v whole cube. So these two identities are key idea with the help of which we will factorize the given five problems. Let us now start with the solution. And the first one is 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6ab square. Now we will write it in the form of u cube plus v cube plus 3u square v plus 3u v square so that it can further be written as u plus v whole cube. So let us start. Now 8a cube can be written as 2a whole cube and b cube can be written as b whole cube and 12a square b we need to write it as 3 u square v so 3 u is 2a square into v is b and now writing 6ab square as 3 into a that is 2a into v square so v is b square. Now 8a cube plus b cube plus 12a square b plus 6ab square can be further written as 2a whole cube plus b whole cube 12a square b can be written as 3 into 2a square into b plus 6ab square can be written as 3 into 2a into b square. Now on comparing it with the left hand side of the first identity, we find it in the form of u cube plus v cube plus 3u square v plus 3uv square where u is 2a and v is b and thus on applying the first identity it can be written as 2a plus b whole cube that is 2a plus b into 2a plus b into 2a plus b and thus on factorizing we have 2a plus b into 2a plus b into 2a plus b. So this completes the first part. And now proceeding on to the second part. Where we have 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6ab square. Now again we will try to write it in the form of the left hand side of the second identity which is u cube minus v cube minus 3u square v plus 3u v square so that it can further be written as u minus v whole cube. Thus starting with 8a whole cube this can be written as 2a whole cube b cube can be written as b whole cube. 12 a square b can be written as 3 
into u square that is 2a whole square into b and 6a b square can be written as 3 into 2a into b square. And so the given problem 8a cube minus b cube minus 12a square b plus 6a b square can be written as 2a whole cube minus b whole cube minus 3 times of 2a into 2a whole square into b plus 3 times of 2a into b square. Now this is in the form of the left hand side of the second identity which is equal to 2a minus b whole cube. This is by key idea. Now this can further be written as 2a minus b into 2a minus b into 2a minus b. And thus on factorizing the second one we get the answer as 2a minus b into 2a minus b into 2a minus b. So this completes the second part. And now proceeding on to the third part which is 27 minus 125a cube minus 135 into a plus 225a square. Now here 27 can be written as 3 whole cube. 125a cube can be written as 5a whole cube. 135a can be written as 3 into 3 square into 5a and 225a square can be written as 3 into 3 into 5a whole square. So, 3 whole cube minus 125a cube can be written as 5a whole cube then minus 135a can be written as 3 into 3 square into 5a and we have plus and 225a square can be written as 3 into 3 into 5a whole square and thus it is in the form of the left hand side of the second identity whose formula is 3 minus 5a whole cube. And thus it can be further written as 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a. And thus on factorizing our answer is 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a into 3 minus 5a. So this completes the third part. And now proceeding on to the fourth part. Which is 64a cube minus 27b cube minus 144a square b plus 108ab square. Now 64a cube can be written as 4a whole cube. 27b cube can be written as 3b whole cube. 144a square b can be written as 3 into 4a whole square into 3b. And 108ab square can be written as 3 into 4a into 9b whole square. And thus, the given polynomial can be further written as 4a whole cube minus 3b whole cube minus 3 into 4a square into 3b plus 
3 into 4a into 9b whole square. Sorry, this is 3b. This is also 3b. Hence, 108 can be written as 3 into 4a into 3b whole square. Now, this is further equal to 4a minus 3b whole cube and this is by a key idea 2. Where x is 4a and y is 3b. So, this is further equal to 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b. Hence, when factorizing the fourth part, we get an answer as 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b into 4a minus 3b. Which completes the fourth part. And now proceeding on to the last one, where we have to factorize 27p cube minus 1 upon 216 minus 9 upon 2p square plus 1 upon 4p. Now 27p cube can be written as 3p whole cube and 1 upon 216 can be written as 1 upon 6 whole cube. 9 upon 2, P square can be written as 3 into 3 P whole square into 1 upon 6 and 1 upon 4 P can be written as 3 into 3 P into 1 upon 6 whole square. And thus, the given polynomial can be written as 3p whole cube minus 1 upon 6 whole cube minus 3 into 3p square into 1 upon 6 plus 3 into 3p into 1 upon 6 whole square which is in the form of the left hand side of the second identity where x is equal to 3p and y is equal to 1 upon 6. And thus on applying the identity it can further be written as 3p minus 1 upon 6 whole cube which is equal to 3p minus 1 upon 6 into 3p minus 1 upon 6 into 3p minus 1 upon 6. So this is our answer. Three P minus one upon six, three P minus one upon six, and three P minus one upon six, which completes the last part and ends the session. So hope you enjoyed it. Take care and do remember the formulas while doing these types of problems. Have a good day.